Look at this room, wow, nice. So yeah, if you guys don't know, I'm here in LA to attend a Nuts 69 uh, Live Beyond the Limits uh, seminar. Yeah, so I'm really excited for that. And uh, fun fact, I actually went to school with Annette. Uh, yeah, we graduated the same year. So yeah, I'm here at the Freehand um, Hotel in the middle of LA and I, Love my view. If, it, if you can focus, please. Come on. There we go. What? Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. LA is a really fascinating place for me. Cause coming from a girl who comes from Riverside, which mainly lives in the suburbs, and it's a good darn thing that I don't have a car and I didn't drive all the way here because holy crap. Traffic was terrible. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of little uh, different videos while I'm on my trip. I'm gonna be doing a hotel tour, which I am so excited because this hotel, it's very like, okay, I'll give you guys a little hint. This hotel is a little hipster, but it's, I like it. Another thing about my hotel I didn't realize when I booked it is, okay, I got a fantastic deal, but the thing is, is I didn't really know that I'll be gonna be that I'm gonna be sharing with other people. So this is gonna be awkward. But yeah, this is what the hotel comes with: free Wi-Fi, a gym, a pool, rec room, cafes, and a bar on the rooftop. Ooh, I'm not old enough to drink. But other than that, I'm really excited.
I was different or that I was always in a bad mood. She would even ask him for permission for some things. And it'd be like, why would you need to ask permission for that? And she'd be really happy. It'd be like, you know that one friend you tell something to and you're so excited and then that friend just shuts you down and be like that. You have so much potential for this career, but you're choosing a toxic relationship rather than pursuing your career because your boyfriend doesn't want you to be in the public eye. Your boyfriend is jealous of your career because he doesn't have that type of career. Hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really? There was hella traffic. Yeah. Uh, where are you guys coming from? Yeah. Where is that? Where is it? Um, well, one, I thought it was really good message and that was Okay, so um, my question is, what is one thing you would wish would change in the MUA community? Um, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of just like bitchiness in the beauty industry. I feel like people just feel like it's, it's a lot of competition. And I feel like since people view it as competition, it's more like, mm, like mm, just a lot of like petty, you know, petty shit. Um, but I feel like if people, just started to have more fun with it and started to be more personal pers personal with it, it'd be more different. Yeah, I, I, I actually agree with you because um, as a beauty blogger, um, one of the things I talk about on, on my social media and especially my YouTube channel is that I review social media, but what I notice in the MUA community is that like nobody seems like they like to collab with each other, mm -hmm. but really collabing with each other is actually a great way to grow but i've been trying to figure out why are we so distant from each other because that's how i've been um feeling like mm -hmm. and i think it's because um the same struggles that you have been going through is that we're insecure yeah i feel like girls just kind of feel like this intimidation of like working together or just talking to each other but i think i think it just goes back to the same thing that there's just a lot of standards and um social media seems like something very scary and you, you're kind of like a different person on social media than you are in person and i feel like that's when it gets difficult because people start to judge you based off your instagram person rather than your actual like normal person you know what i mean
or she or saw your vision saying that she did? Um, honestly, I feel like uh, for me especially, it was just something that wasn't. I mean, who has a job through social media, you know? And it was something that just started popping off recently. So, like, my parents were always like, eh, like, you know, I don't, I don't really know about that. But they've always been pretty supportive. But, you know, it's just a big question mark. It's something that's so new. Personally, for me, you know, coming from a Hispanic background and being gay, I had a lot of people that didn't support the idea of me being gay. You know, they thought it was, like, a phase. You know, like, oh, you'll end up liking girls. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> like the people that used to talk shit on me at school because I would wear makeup or just friends and family, I use that as motivation to like be like, look at me, like I'm over here living my dreams, like working hard for what I want. And you're over there like, you remember that one time you hated? Because I do, you know, like, so it's kind of like, you kind of like use that as motivation to keep going and I yeah. feel like that's what I've done. You know, sometimes it's difficult for us as influencers to try to juggle every single little thing because if we don't post everybody's like where you been like you don't care about us, about us anymore but um it's just all about balancing so if we ever go mia it's not because we don't care it's because we got to take care of ourselves first because you know at the end of the day who else is going to have our back like the way we do <laughs>